Hey YouTube, how's it going? Another cold day, a rather long cold day, fraught with all kinds of fun. Like for example, spending an hour or so working on a Hermitcraft vanilla episode, only to discover when I get it into the editor that my microphone had been turned off the entire time. And since I really particularly hate doing post-commentary, especially when I'm not anticipating the need to, and therefore I don't really pay a whole lot of attention to what I'm saying because it's being recorded, or so I believe. And uh, when it comes time to get it into the editor and uh, the audio isn't there because the mic was turned off, then I'm sitting there looking at this stuff. What was I saying here? What was I saying there? And that just makes for a totally derpy episode. So I have to trash that footage and in the morning I will get in there and uh, record again and see what I can manage to do. This time triple checking that the mic is turned on. Although I did check the mic was turned on before I started this time. So I don't know what the heck is going on there. Anyway, all kinds of fun things going on. Speaking of fun things, this was the scene earlier today when I went outside. Well, it's about 24 degrees out. It is about noon. And it's looking very primitive out here. There has been a little bit of traffic up and down the road. However, the snow plows have not made the rounds out this way yet. It may be another day or two. I am now very carefully venturing through four inch deep snow. I can tell it's that deep because that's how far my feet are sinking into it. And I'm trying to move very carefully. My objective is to get over there my propane tank and find out how much remains in it. I have to be careful here because there are some small fallen branches hidden under the snow that I could easily trip on. And I don't care to do that. All right. Okay, just about to the tank. And now, <laughs> read that or not. Try zooming in. And I'm seeing about 60%. And what that means is that because of this cold weather, I'm going through propane at an amazing rate. And in spite of having turned the thermostat down to 60 degrees, it's still running quite a lot because it's effing cold out here. It looks, it looks pretty, but it's dangerous and treacherous as all get out. And with the driveway like this, the street unplowed, there is no way I'm even going to attempt going down the driveway. Because assuming I could get down it without incident, there's no way I'd get back up. So basically, I'm trapped. And that's not good when the kitchen is very low on supply. Now, as I record this, it's about quarter after 8 p.m. And the snow plows have not, to my knowledge, been anywhere near my street. So that's a real issue. And it still remains that there's no way in the world I can even try to go anywhere. And I really would like to go to the store. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. But it's not going to happen until uh, things are clear, the streets clear, and honestly, I need my driveway to be clear. And that's a problem because there's an inch or so of ice with four inches of snow on top of it. And tonight, we're getting some freezing drizzle. Isn't that wonderful? Oh, goody! Mm. Yeah. 
freezing drizzle on top of the snow so now the snow is going to be slick as all get out and crunchy crunchy I don't mind but the slick part when you first set your foot down on it if you don't do it carefully you're going to go flying and that's a real problem now my driveway being a fairly respectable slope downhill to the street you know if that thing isn't cleared and non-slick when I go down I stand a chance of losing control on the way down and I stand a good chance of not being able to get back up and I'm not interested in that at all as far as shoveling the driveway sorry I can't do that to do that you need to own an operating shovel and be physically capable of doing that kind of work which shoveling snow in case for those few of you that have never shoveled snow that is hard work it's heavy it will wear you out fast at least it always has me Even when I was a kid it would wear me out real fast but uh, so I can't clear the snow off the driveway and I don't happen to have any road salt you know ice melt whatever you want to call it to uh, scatter on there to try to get stuff to melt that way although with the temperatures we have right now it wouldn't work anyway because that stuff doesn't work below 15 degrees Fahrenheit and right now as I understand it it's about 17 18 degrees Fahrenheit outside right now and uh, honestly I would not be at all surprised if we got down into single digits again uh, I mean we did last night a good eight nine degrees Fahrenheit and uh, that you know that's like uh, minus 7C or something like that. Some, it's some minus something or other. I know, I know that for certain. But anyway, that's what's going on. Having all kinds of fun. Really hoping to see the plows and salt trucks come through tomorrow. That will be a step in the right direction, but no telling. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the internet derped me out big time last night and... Uh, you know, it's like I could have enough internet connection, enough successful connection internet-wise to load web pages, to even watch videos, and uh, so on. But partway through my stream last night, uh, I kept losing connection to Twitch 20, 30 times in, in five minutes or so, and that ended up killing the stream because the streaming software couldn't connect to the Twitch servers to actually do the stream isn't that fun in spite of that I'll be trying again tonight sometime around 10 30 11 o'clock p.m. Central Time and we'll see what we can do if we can do anything we're aiming for interplanetary this time thanks for watching take it easy I'm out of here Mr.